Coming up for you on today's ATV, we will be getting an update on our basketball, lacrosse, and water polo teams. We also have a PSA about staying safe and buckling up with Lucas. And an update with Hudson and Talon on weekly news. Hey, that's me. Welcome to the show. I'm Hudson Criswell. And I'm Davis Cornelius. Today is February 18th, 2020. Thanks for joining us. ATV starts now. ATV. 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 ATV starts now. The new sports facilities are going to start construction soon. You're right, Davis, and man, am I excited. Let's go over to Brenton and Katie for more on the new sports facility. Thanks, guys. Do you play sports for Arlington High School? Well, we have news for you. Arlington is getting a new indoor sports facility right here on campus. We talked to head soccer coach, Coach Rawls, about how do we plan to utilize this facility. We're getting a weight room on the back side of it, a locker room going in that we'll be able to use. We'll have storage for all our equipment and all their coaching gear and stuff like that, and then a, a coaching office for the soccer team. Uh, we're gonna be able to utilize the, obviously the locker rooms for players to get dressed for practice and games in, but also the turf room uh, during bad weather and heat advisory and things like that. Um, we'll be able to use the weight room to lift weights. Um, and then we can also use it at, to watch game film and stuff like that. We also talked to Athletic Director Coach Manthe to get more information on the facility. It's going to be a turf facility for use primarily for uh, any sport that wants to, to use it. It's going to, ha it's going to be a turf facility. Necessary because so we, so we add more space for athletes to have places to practice and for space for athletes to utilize on campus. Of course, because now you've got an indoor uh, practice facility, so if it's raining, they don't have to cancel practice, and it's just, uh, it gives us more space with which to work and more teams can practice at the same time now. The new sports facility should be ready by next fall. I'm Katie Gallimore, alongside Brenton Lee, reporting for ATV. Me and Andrew took a look into our basketball, lacrosse, and water polo teams. You know, they say water polo might be the manliest sport here at Arlington. Oh, you said it. Tell you what, let's take a look at what all these sport teams are up to. Both the boys and girls basketball teams have been ranked number one in the district. With impressive records of 21 and 6 for the boys team and 24 and 5 for the girls team, both teams are trying to win their district championship. After that, they move to regionals next week. Good luck, Tigers. The boys and girls lacrosse team's seasons are starting soon. The boys' first game is on the 28th at 7.30 here at Arlington, and the girls' first team is on the 25th at 6.30, also here at Arlington. Come out and support the lacrosse teams. The AHS water polo team is starting their season two. They start games in early March and are looking promising with new members joining the team as well as a new head coach. We look forward to the start of the new season. Now, back to me. Now for our weekly news package with our very own Taylor from McDonald's. Starbucks. Oh but yeah, McDonald Starbucks, yeah. yeah. Let's see what's going on. This week we want to take the time to remind you guys that it is Black History Month. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans and a time for recognizing the central role of blacks in the U.S. history. There are lots of African Americans who have paved the way for all Americans all over through all over throughout music and even sports. So remember to take a moment to appreciate the rights and appreciate your African-American ancestors. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, listen up. Throughout the entire month of February, select guidance counselors have been speaking with you about your course selections for the next school year. Make sure you get AP and honors forms signed and turned in. Remember that it is your future and you should take these classes that will gear you towards your future success. Who's ready for the ACT? Well, all of you underclassmen better be ready, especially the juniors, because Tuesday, March 31st, is the day of the ACT here at Arlington High School. Freshmen and sophomores will be taking a practice ACT, while juniors are taking the real thing. The ACT is a standardizing test used for college admissions in the United States. The ACT test covers four academic skills areas, English, mathematics, reading, and science reasoning. Good luck to the juniors who are taking the test, because you're going to need it. Hey, you listen here. You better not go anywhere. We have more in store for you after this PASA break.
It's, uh, it's, P it's PSA break, I guess. PSA P break. PSA break. Imagine this, you're at the mall hanging out with friends and doing some shopping, but as you guys are leaving the mall with your bags, one of your friends blows out a vape cloud. Was that a vape? Yep, just got it the other day. Wanna try it? Aren't vapes like really bad for you? And don't they contain a whole bunch of chemicals and stuff? Nah, that stuff's not true. Vaping is totally fine. You know that vapes have as much nicotine as an entire pack of cigarettes, right? Oh really? I didn't know that. Yep. And nicotine affects your brain development and makes learning and concentration harder. Wow, I'm so glad that I know that now. Don't sign your health away. Stop vaping today. Hi, this is Richard Kuhn here for your w weekly weather forecast. Here's the weather for you. On Tuesday, there will be a 50% chance of rain. On Wednesday, there will be a 30% chance of rain. And on Thursday, there will be a 20% chance of rain. Now here's John with the highs and lows. Hi, I'm Jalen, and, and here's the weather for this week. Monday is a kickoff the week with a high of 54 and a low of 40. On Tuesday, we'll have a high of 55 and a low of 46. Wednesday, the high will be 54 with a low of 37. Thursday has a high of 49 and a low of 38. Friday finishes the week warm cold with a high of 53 and a low of 41. The Oscars were this past Sunday. And man, dude, Brad Pitt looked cool. Oh, you you, little, I got a little Brad Pitt going. You do look like him. Really? If he was a midget. I know, let's see what Jackson and Tanner um, have to, let's see what Arlington thinks about the Oscars. Really the most anticipated nomination for me was Best Picture because it was a very tight race between 1917 and Parasite. Oscar experts have been thinking one week uh, 1917, another week Parasite, and it really was just a toss up that night between the two. I'd say Parasite is my most anticipated nomination because it's the only one I actually saw and I, I'm satisfied with it. I was most looking forward to Best Actor because I really wanted Joaquin Phoenix to win, especially because that movie, Joker, he is amazing in it. My most anticipated nomination was probably Best Actor, and I was because I thought Joaquin Phoenix really deserved it for the Joker. I probably liked the opening number with Janelle Monae the most. I liked the costume changes, the midsummer dress, the Mr. Rogers outfit. So yeah, that's probably the one I enjoyed the most. Billie Eilish did the In Memoriam um, performance and I thought it was really moving. It was a cover of The Beatles yesterday and I thought it was really good. The, I don't know her name, but the actress that played Harriet, she sang and she did such a good job. Honestly, I don't remember any big performances. Um, maybe, I don't know if you could consider this a performance, but Gordon coming out dressed as cats, James Gordon, so with a couple other people. If I were to award an Oscar, I think because I would want a good acceptance speech. My friend Sylvester from high school, who is still my best friend to this day, he lives in New York and um, he's always there for me. We've been friends for so long now, uh, you know, about 20 years. And uh, he's very theatrical, theater major. I just know he would do a great acceptance speech. Maybe someone that's good at lying, someone that's lied a lot of times, <laughs> a compulsive liar, they should get an Oscar. I'm not going to say names. <laughs> Probably um, my boss, Josh Nix. Um, he's a great actor and he loves to put on a face for people. Um, and like, in a good way. Like, he's not fake to anyone, but he, I think he could be a great actor. And um, so I, th I would give him best actor, so. I would definitely award an Oscar to my mom because she does everything for me. She keeps me in track. Drive a minivan. <laughs> well, if you can drive a minivan, then you can drive anything else. Yeah. 
history. Attention all juniors, the ACT will be administrated on March 31st. Be sure you eat a good breakfast, bring a calculator, and bring a number two pencil. Thank you. Bruh, I don't want to take no ACT. Me either. I, it's not going to help me. Yeah, I might just skip. You can't fail in the ACT. Yes, you can. You can't. What do you mean? You're gonna homework. Semester running the 5K. Cause my ACT score was a 28. And I acted right, I got my act right. Then refund chase me looking great. I could buy a car with my ACT score. All you gotta do is strive for more. Happy in class or sit on the floor. Choose first step, get your foot in the door. But I know we can accomplish This is just me being honest These test scores gonna be flawless Thinking like we're Einstein ACT in this prime time These grades be hitting skylines Studying, that's the lifeline, yeah Calculating while scores are elevating While other schools they be hating While we're just celebrating, yeah Grades are boosted, these minds be getting lucid Encouragement to the students 30 plus is we're producing, yeah My name is Alistair Osiris. I'm a private detective, and for years, I've been solving crimes with my own personal flavor of justice. It involves some unsavory tactics, meeting with some of the most depraved minds imaginable, and just straight up getting your hands dirty. However, I wouldn't give it up for anything in the world. Who are you? What are you doing in my office? Your office? Dude, this is my room. Get out! Oh. Good evening. Good evening, Alistair. What'll it be? I think I'll have the usual, Jeremy. I keep telling you my name is Gerald, but okay. Thanks, Chuck. Ah. That's the good stuff. So, any new cases? Yes, I do, Marcus. One. Alistair Osiris, private detective, how can I help you? Sir, please help, a man stole my gems. Huh. Okay, sir, don't worry, what did this man look like? Well, he, uh, wore a bandana. Is that it? You're getting us all down, right? Oh, uh, don't worry, sir. Get every word. Wow, sounds like a pretty serious case. Yeah, it is pretty serious, Bob. I should probably start actually trying to solve it. Yes, you probably should. Is that him? Now that I have the gems, I'll finally be able to retire. Well, that was easy. Who are you? You're going down, punk. Thanks to my secret weapon. Is that an umbrella? Yeah. I've been saving it for a rainy day. I was just going to run away, but now I feel like I have a moral obligation to pick you up just for saying that. 
All in a hard day's work. All right, Tigers, we just had a three-day weekend, and I bet most of y'all don't know why we had Monday off. President's Day, Davis' favorite president, go. This one year, my mom got me this sweet air freshener, and I use it every day. Okay, so where does the president part come in that? Because it's President's Day. Oh, not you know, like President. Like Ben Franklin, like Ben Franklin. Oh, then I, I guess my favorite would be Abraham Lincoln. Hi, George. Uh, Wash, George Washington's mine. He's cool. He is. Well, hope you enjoy the show today. Bye, have a beautiful time. All right, three, two, one. What's up? I'm Hudson, Chris Swell, and... No, like this. What's up? I'm Davis Cornelius. Welcome to ATV. Wait. Um... I smell it. Oh, it's in my eyes. Oomph. Show me your best oomph. Give me an oomph right now. Oomph. Better. Oomph. There you go. All right. Oomph. Into the camera.